welcome students today i am going to start new chapter chapter 3 that is major water bodies of the earth now student water bodies can you name some water bodies see they are oceans seas rivers and lakes so you picture this is a picture of a river this is lakes this is pond and this is oceans now students you have understood what are water bodies now our next topic is major water bodies now first what we have to learn about oceans there are four major oceans according to size they are the pacific ocean atlantic ocean indian ocean and arctic ocean and first we will read about pacific ocean now first we will read about pacific ocean the pacific ocean is the largest and deepest ocean and the marina trench see this is the marina trench it is the deepest place on the earth's surface lies in the pacific ocean it is surrounded by the continents of north america and south america in the east and asia and australia in the west in oh yeah in the north it is joined to the arctic ocean through the narrow bering strait in the south it merges with the atlantic and the indian ocean this side now second ocean is atlantic ocean it is the second largest ocean of the world see it is shaped like the letter s you can see this it is shaped like the letter s the continents of north america and south america border this portion in the west while europe and africa make up its eastern boundary in the north it stretches up to arctic circle and in the south it merges with the pacific and the indian oceans and the next ocean is indian ocean it is the only ocean to be named after a country as you can say the name of the ocean is indian ocean so the country is india our country its shape is roughly triangular this is our indian ocean you can see this is roughly like a triangular this side is pointed and this is flattened so the indian ocean is bound in the north by the continent of asia see this is the continent of asia and india lies at the head of this ocean this is india this is india and this is indian ocean this lies at the head of this ocean the arabian sea and the bay of bengal are the two northward extension of the indian ocean this is arabian sea and this is bay of bengal and to the east of this ocean lies australia this is australia and to the west lies africa and to the east of these oceans lies the australia and to the west lies the africa in the south it merges with the atlantic and the pacific oceans next ocean is arctic ocean it lies around the north pole and extends southwards up to the arctic circle north america europe 
and Asia are three continents that border this ocean in the south. The Arctic Ocean merges with the Atlantic between Greenland, this is Greenland and Scandinavia. It is linked to the Pacific through the narrow Bering Strait. And most of most part of this ocean remain covered with thick ice throughout the year. Next ocean is Antarctic Ocean. The continent of Antarctica is surrounded by water body which is actually an extension of the this extension of the Pacific and the Atlantic and the Indian Ocean and it is known as the Southern Ocean also. This was all about oceans. Now the next one topic is importance of oceans. In, oceans are usual to us in a number of ways that are ocean water are home to a great variety of marine life. Marine life because, uh, like so many water animals are living in this ocean. Then oceans are an enormous sources of energy. Tides and waves can be harnessed to generate power. Power or we can say electricity. The oceans serve as means of transport and they are source of clouds and thus bring rainfall. These are the importance of oceans.